Yeah, hello friends welcome back to our channel so in today's session I, I would like to show you how to execute the C and Python programs in the Linux terminal so uh, if your system is having the windows and if you want to execute the programs in the Linux terminal so no need to worry so there will be an app called the Ubuntu app in the Play Store so you can di directly download that uh, app and you can install and you can execute the programs so you did not install the operating system once again so i will show you the procedure right now so go to the control panel first and go to the programs and features you can uh, you can observe this option so click on that one and here on the left pen you can observe here turn videos features on or off just click on that so go to scroll down and you can find here windows subsystem for linux so you just uh, put the tick mark for this checkbox windows subsystem for linux and click on ok and close this one and just open the uh, store and in the store you just type ubuntu so you can find a different versions of ubuntu and uh, here you can select any one version so i will select this one and uh, see you can install here So the app will be installed in your system so in your windows operating system itself and we can use the terminal in the windows itself so without installing the operating system see so the ubuntu has been installed just launch the application so this is a one time installing this may take a few minutes this will come a one time so once you finish this one so from the next one uh, next time you open this ubuntu you will not get all these things right so this is a process to give the username and a password for the ubuntu terminal See, so here uh, it prompts for the Unix username. So I will give the username here, Sandeep Saradi. So it will asking about the pro, uh, password. So I am giving some password here, and again retype new password. So the same password should be, be typed once again. So you can see, so everything has been set and the terminal has been opened, right? So use the clear option to clear all the above. And in order to write the programs, in order to write the programs, so either it may be a C programs or a Python program, so you need some editor. So here in the Linux, we are having the editor called VI editor. So use the VI space, give the file name, give the file name. So I'll give some hello.c, right? Enter. So here you will get the terminal editor. So it will run in two modes, command mode and uh, insert mode. So you you are able to write the programs in the insert mode. So uh, first we need to change the mode that is press I key to change the insert mode. You can observe here in the below you will be getting the insert. Now you can write the programs. I will write a simple program here, the C program and I will show you the execution. So I'm writing a small printf statement. Okay. Right. I have given uh, some file. Okay. Now I need to execute this one. I need to compile and execute. So in order to save this one again change to command mode so this is the insert mode so now change to command mode by pressing escape button so you can observe here at the bottom you can uh, observe the insert button insert uh, the text so if you press escape this will be disappeared right so now it is in a command mode so just give the colon wq so colon wq will save the program now the program has been saved right so in order to uh, execute the compile and execute the C programming you need some GCC compiler so first we need to install the GCC so the command is GCC hello.c so you can see if the GCC compiler is available automatically the program will be compiled okay so you can observe here the, the error has been sent so command GCC is not found but can be installed with given command so you need to install the GCC with the help of a command sudo app 
So before installing this one, just update the sudo app. So in some cases, the sudo app is not updated. If the sudo app is not updated, then the GCC compiler will also not be installed, right? So first, let us update the sudo app. So use the command sudo app update. Enter. So it will prompt for the password. So give the correct password. Execute. See, it has been updating. You can observe the percentage. So it may take around uh, one minute or uh, uh, one and a half minute. So just wait. So once the sudo app is updated, then immediately you can install the GCC compiler. Yes. So here you can see the sudo app has been updated and now you need to install the gcc compiler so sudo app install gcc so this is a command used to install the gcc so it will ask do you want to continue just press y and continue so it may take some time Yes, so now you can see the complete uh, GCC compiler has been installed. Now we'll check how to compile the program and how to execute the program. You can check. So this is the program we have written, vi hello.c. So this is the program we have written. So we need to execute this one. So for uh, compiling the program, use the GCC followed by the file name .c. So if there is no error, directly we'll get the terminal, right? Command prompt. And now in order to execute, so this means our, uh, the file has been compiled successfully. Now we have to execute. In order to execute, use a command called a dot out. So dot slash a dot out. So directly we'll get the output on the screen. So you can observe here, we'll get the output on the screen. Right? So this is how we can execute the C program. And coming to the Python programs, the same way, so give, give the hello.py so va dot uh, va followed by hello.py so a file name will be opened file will be opened with the hello.py now if you go to the insert mode and write the statements write the statements So by default, the Python interpreter will be installed here. So we did not go with the explicit installation of Python interpreter. So directly by using Python 3 followed by hello.py. So it will execute the program, right? So here we need not uh, compile the program. Directly we can execute the program in case of Python. And uh, in case of C language, first we need to compile and then we have to execute in order to compile the program use the gcc followed by the file name so if there are any syntax errors then automatically those syntax errors will be displayed here itself and if it is a error free automatically we need to execute the program by using the command called a dot out dot slash a dot out so that the output will be displayed on the screen itself right so you need not install the operating system in your computer, so if you are using any Windows, directly go to the store and uh, download the Ubuntu, ter Ubuntu uh, app. So in that, you can directly use the terminal and you can execute the C programs and Python programs successfully. Right. So hope you understood this session. So if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.